my hair is like not working with it, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hey guys, it is me, Miss Matcha Blossom. And today we're gonna be talking about something a little bit different called the um the thing that we wear to bed every night. Yeah. Not your not your birthday suit. Let's get into it. Let's so hi guys, we're actually gonna be talking about today something that I was a little interested in that no one really talks about. What did they wear in ancient China for undergarments or just your underwear, like your panties, your boxes, what what, what did they wear? Like, isn't that kind of weird or is it just me? Feel free to, if you enjoy these kind of videos and if you're interested into this, I am, yes, I am Miss Matcha Blossom. I am a Hanfu enthusiast. If you're interested in learning more about Hanfu or ancient Chinese clothing that's related to Hanfu garments, please hit the like button for this video, but also follow us in the Blossom family and where we blossom on and prosper by hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification to keep you informed when I have a new video for you. I realize that there's a lot of things that we still don't know that, or at least not just in America, but in other places that we don't know about Hanfu that plays an important role in everyday life, just like modern clothing plays an important role, like pajamas, lingerie, just regular kigurumis or onesies is what they like to call. And I realized when I was making Hanfu, I'm like, huh, a lot of these are transparent. But then I keep forgetting that there's actually people out there, not just in our modern society, but in history, that have worn layers of undergarments for centuries. Let's take a little bit of a deep dive just to see how they, what they would use to wear, just from what I've studied. So please don't come at me. I'm not a historian. I'm an enthusiast for Hanfu. Just remember that before you start coming at people in the comments, because I have a lot of people who do that. Even though I put this preconception disclaimer in the beginning of the videos, Apparently, people don't like to watch videos, they just like the shit on them. First things first, I realize there's three different types of Hanfu that goes for the inner, outer, and the most outer layer. This might come down to three types of just undergarment, like clothing. The first garment I did want to talk about, instead of Zhang Yi, it was actually the uh, Nei Yi. I don't know if I said that correctly, I do apologize. It's N-E-I. Why I and it's the most inner garment. This could be worn as the different, it's actually just the blouse or the camisole kind of like, and it's been deranged over the different parts of the years, uh, what it looks like through different dynasties, of course, where there's a Tang dynasty, Song, Ming, it keeps going. There's different like variations of it and I'm pretty sure there's a video out there on YouTube about it. If I do find it, I will try my best to link it down below, explaining like how it changes through the history, at least for the majority of the part, right? The second clothing is the middle clothing or the Zheng, Zheng, Zheng Yi. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I'm making sure I'm trying to get as close as I can to the articulation. So the reason why I wanted to say the inner and then the middle is because most of the time the Nei Yi is just for females and the Zhang Yi is a very unisex clothing which is also known as Yi Sheng and the word Yi actually arrives from open cross collar really just means the open cross collar garment which is normally unisex in a way for instance this probably might be a Yi Sheng or it's a Zhang Yi a lot of people have known the comment or the term as Zhang Yi mostly. It can be having other variated names, just like other garments in Hanfu as well, over the dynasties or just renamed. The outer layer is going to be called the Hua Yi, which is the outermost layer of the Hanfu, which you'll probably see like as a last touch. So when you buy a Hanfu, most than likely you're buying the Hua Yi, if not the Zhang Yi, because Zhang Yi is a more unisex and Hua Yi is just like literally the outer layer. For example, the Nei Yi is like a bra for females, correct? And then for the Zhang Yi, it's kind of like a white beater or a t-shirt that you would wear underneath a certain jacket or flannel shirt. The flannel shirt or the jacket or the the outer button shirt, that's actually the Hua Yi of the Hanfu to kind of give you a little bit more perspective in modern example terms. Took me a minute to understand, but hopefully that works for you Now, another thing that people don't realize, but Zhang Yi's, here's some just facts about some of these undergarments and why it's very important. So Zhang Yi's are actually worn as casual wear when you're at home, whether it's for male or females. It's used as a casual wear or like kind of the most bare wear that you would see. So if you see someone getting executed or punished, you'll see them more likely in their Zhang Yi or their lounge wear. That can depend or change depending on the class that you're in or what type of garment that's embellished into it. With the Zhang Yi though, 
For example, for men, the reason why it's important for men to have theirs be white is because let's say you're wearing a round collar like the Yuling Ping uh Pao. Don't know if I said the right, I'll put a picture somewhere over here. It's like almost 12 in the morning. Yeah, give me some slack. So if you're wearing like a rounded collar Hanfu, you are required to wear a Zhang Yi and preferably white, but it can be any other monochrome color. It's very, very much needed for men when they wear that, whether it's in the past or even currently right now for Hanfu. Now, if a female wears a Zhang Yi underneath her clothing, it can actually either be white or it can just match the actual Hanfu or the Yi, which is the outer layer, the actual Hanfu that you're seeing in colors. But it was more strict for men just to wear the white colors with round colors, round collars. So it would go correlate with it and be more formal setting. Now, going on to Negi, which is really more of the female perspective of a brasier or just the bra, you know what I mean? I should not have touched my boobs. Now, normally it's just like a, kind of like a bra or a padding but it didn't really have any padding whatsoever, so it just took the place of like a flat cloth bra, if that makes any kind of sense to you guys. Now, it was normally worn, like you'll probably say a nehi worn, or a certain type of nehi worn with a mojing hanfu, which I wanna say normally came up a lot in the Song Dynasty. Should have a video coming out with a mojing I accidentally bought that I really fell in love with. So hopefully that's come out by the time I finish this video. The types of Zhang Yi that you can see, like if you want picture examples, like the narrow sleeve Zhang Yi, so it might not have any kind of curvature or bell, or bell shape at the bottom or at the wrist cuffing. It's literally just a straight across narrow sleeve. Now you might have a wide sleeve Zhang Yi, which actually has more of a deeper pocket. So it comes out, but then it has a deep pocket, kind of like wide sleeve that goes out, not bell shape, but it just has a little dip in it. And that's where a lot of people would put their stuff into their sleeve. You are going to get the Zhang Chin, which is literally just like a Ru Chin, but it's called a Zhang Chin because it's actually worn as an underlayer, AKA a petticoat or a slip for your, like your skirt slip. So that's why the Zhang Chin is called Zhang Chin because Zhang is part of the Zhang Yi like terminology. And then the Chin is just part of the Ru Chin but it's not for the outer layer, it's for the underneath slip of the inner layer of the root chin or just any type of Han Fu dress that you're wearing as a female or male. Now we do have the last one example, which is Zhang Dan, and that's literally just a one piece. I wanna, I wanna say it's a one piece because you literally have it from not just only the wide sleeve where you have it where it's somewhat of a dip, not as much as the other wide sleeve Zhang Yi, but it's somewhat of a wider sleeve where you can put stuff in there, but everything is just one. It's like a T Hanfu, like kind of a T silhouette. It has to go underneath like a certain Hanfu that is a long, like a long one piece Y-E or just an outer layer. Now that was actually really everything I wanted to go over with you guys today. I know, pretty short, right? But hopefully this helps you guys out. I realized when I wear Hanfu and I accidentally fall asleep in it, guess and bother me. Other than that, that's really what I wanted to talk to you guys today. Hopefully you guys have caught a thing or two or understood a little bit more about Hanfu undergarments or just undergarments that, or just underwear that they wore in ancient China. And yes, they wear their underwear and lounge around the house just like we do in the present day of the 21st century. Thank you guys so much for actually subscribing, sending me likes, and then very encouraging and intellectual comments down below. I read all of the comments, by the way, so I really appreciate you guys just taking your time out of your day just to message me, talk with me, like my videos, and stick around if not share it with other people. If you do know someone who's very interested in Hanfu or just into this video, send it on over to them. Don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness, and it is only up to you to make every day beautiful. I'll see you ladies and gents later. I am blossoming out. Brrrr. That's the middle clothing that is worn on the middle of the Garmu. Garmu. My hair is very different today. I don't like it. Blah, 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 blah. Gar garment. I put Hanfu and garment together. You should not do that. It's a Garmu. Bedroom routine kind of.